Thanks to Tora Books for sponsoring this episode of Nerdist News. We've got a first look at the Justice League Mother Boxes, and they could be the DCEU's answer to the Infinity Stones. With San Diego Comic-Con now in full swing, we're scouring the floor for sneak peeks at toys, props, and costumes from all of our favorite franchises. And one of the coolest things we've seen so far is an up-close and personal look at the three Mother Boxes from Justice League. But what the heck are Mother Boxes? Well, they're kind of like DC's Infinity Stones. Now, what the heck does that mean? Well, to answer that, we're going to have to get just uh, the slightest bit spoilery, so if you don't want to know, turn back now. All right, so mother boxes are kind of like space iPhones, but instead of apps, they have cool supernatural powers like teleportation via boom tube, telepathy, and magical healing, which, like we said, kind of makes them a quasi-equivalent to Marvel's Infinity Stones. And just like how Thanos is tracking down these stones throughout the Marvel Universe, Steppenwolf is hunting these boxes in the DCEU to gain ultimate power. Now, we've known for a while that the mother boxes would be a huge part of Justice League's plot. In the extended cut of Batman v Superman, we see Steppenwolf showing off three of them to Lex Luthor. And while it seemed like they were in Steppenwolf's possession, based on these new toys, it's more likely that he was asking for Lex's help to find the three mother boxes left on Earth. Now we know in the prologue of Justice League that the Atlanteans, the Mascarians, and humans unite to fight Darkseid and will acquire these mother boxes after the new god's defeat. As you see, the three mother boxes all have slightly different colors and ornamentation, which presumably reflects the culture that held on to them. The dark red Themyscirian box is covered in ancient Greek text and detailed carvings. The Atlantean box, glimpsed in the first teaser with Mira, looks like something that could have been grown in an underwater kingdom rather than built. And that finally brings us to the human mother box, which will be integrated into our favorite cyborg, Cyborg. Now this box looks different than the sort of broken down aesthetic we saw in Batman v Superman. The toy version is whole with a shield-like design on each side. Now since that box has now been integrated into Cyborg, what does this mean for him, especially since we know Steppenwolf is after the boxes? Well, it probably won't be great for poor Victor Stone. We imagine that he will be drawn into the fight pretty early on in the film and probably be a focus of a lot of the attacks from Steppenwolf's parademons. Now we're also thinking that Steppenwolf might get his hands on the Atlantean box. In the teaser, we see Jason Momoa's Aquaman dodging Steppenwolf's giant axe in Atlantis. It's possible this box will be lost to Steppenwolf in the name of raising the stakes. And finally, we learned back in June that Robin Wright's Antiope and Connie Nielsen's Hippolyta will appear in Justice League as well. Now, as we all sadly remember, Antiope was killed in Wonder Woman's beachside battle, leading us to speculate that we'd see the Amazons in a flashback sequence. And another Lego leak shows Wonder Woman doing battle with Steppenwolf over the Themyscira and Mother Box. Now, this could also tease a possible triumphant Amazonian return during the third act of Justice League with the JL and the Amazons teaming up to take down Steppenwolf and the Parademons. Or could the theft of the mother box by Steppenwolf and company motivate Diana to return home to investigate the missing box, recruiting her fellow Amazons in the process? We'll find out when Justice League hits theaters in November. But what do you folks think? Will Steppenwolf get his hands on the mother boxes? Which do you think is more powerful, a mother box or an infinity stone? Let's discuss, I should say, fight! <laughs> and special thanks to Tor Books for sponsoring today's Nerdist News. If you guys are looking for some new original sci-fi fantasy reading material this summer, Tor Books has a fantastic selection. Find stories from emerging and established writers like my good friend Erica Lewis and her book Game of Shadows. Now with no word limits or page limits, you can take your pick between downloadable ebooks and good old print. Visit Tor.com for exciting sci-fi fantasy reads.